Good afternoon, this is Jeff with SewerTech Northwest. Today we're at 1227 Northeast Evans Street here in McMinnville. We're located on the left side of the home, just around that corner there is the front door, right outside this very first front left basement window here. We've got a four inch cast iron clean out as our point of access. We're gonna insert the camera and check the overall condition and serviceability of the sanitary sewer line. We do have water currently running. And on the note of the clean out, this clean out needs a riser put on it. It's literally sitting flush at ground level. It's not tightened on there. You could just come by and kick that thing right over and dump a bunch of rocks down the sewer pipe. A so pretty easy fix, but I would highly recommend doing that. If nothing else, just to get the cap secured in place so kids don't throw rocks down it. But you could accidentally walk right by this thing and just kick all kinds of junk down it right now. So we just zeroed out there at the bottom of the clean out. We'll have a better look at everything when we come back. I've got to move the equipment into the uh, into shade here so I can see the camera properly. Like, all right, making a transition here to four inch thirty thirty four. It's like a secondary clean out ties in there. That looked like it was at the end of the driveway. It's under a big steel plate. See how that cast iron looks when we come back. It looked like there was either scale buildup in the flow line or debris or something. It looked like my camera was riding over the top of some stuff. That right there just looks like a bunch of cobwebs, not, not roots. And then here is our main lateral connection at 60 feet out on the dot. Now we're going to pull back a little bit so we can get a good locate. We're going to go verify where the line terminates while the pipe drains out. Alrighty, I was able to pick up a kind of a weak signal in the roadway. We're going to pull back a little bit to the secondary clean out and locate there. The pipe we're in right now is, is in city responsibility. Pretty much everything from the right of way out in McMinnville is city responsibility. So we've got someone inside running water here. I've already knocked. No one's answering the door, so I, I really can't get anyone to turn it all the way off. So hopefully it shuts off here in a minute when we go through the cast iron. And the line definitely terminates at the main out on Northeast Evans. I, where I'm locating the camera right now is directly underneath that steel plate at the front of the driveway, kind of in the driveway skirt area. And the reason that stuff's updated is that that pipe there is is city responsibility. They've updated their end of it. like this my camera looks like it is riding on top of quite a lot of scale buildup or debris or some kind as I come back in here the pipe bottom kind of flattens out in shape and the diameter of the pipe appears to get smaller but the pipe bottom here is yeah like especially spots like this What I can't tell is if it's just debris buildup or if there's scale buildup in the flow line. So you can see that junk breaking loose there. It just busted loose. You've got, you've got debris in the flow line here that I would recommend cleaning out. One, it's going to increase the diameter of the pipe by almost an inch. You've got some spots here where the, I mean, like right here, my camera's going to scrape some junk loose. That black, it, it's, a lot of it looks like it's probably a combination of sludge and paper products. But I would recommend cleaning the sewer line out. There's some more that's going to break loose there. Um, and getting another look at the sewer line, I'd rescope it and make sure that you, the, pop, the pipe bottom is not rotting out on you. That can happen, or it will happen eventually in cast iron, but sometimes you get square spots in the flow line where the pipe starts to trough, where the metal is being eaten through. 
and debris will get stuck down into it. So there's just a lot of areas here where the, the pipe diameter, it looks like it's it's gone from four inch down to as much as three inch. Or as small as three inch, I should say. Uh, cleaning it will improve the flow of the sewer line. It'll also give you a proper view of the bottom of the pipe to make sure you don't have rotted sewer pipe there. But the line is still functioning, don't get me wrong. Uh, sometimes you can get junk underneath all that. As we get back into here, you can see how the pipe opens up a lot more. You don't have all that black sludge in the flow line. So we're going to go ahead and reel the camera out. We do have adequate flow to the main lateral connection. The PVC pipe is in good condition. The cast iron appears to be in, I would say, you know, good, fair to good. Unfortunately, I can't see the entirety of it with buildup in the flow line, and most of the cast iron has that in it. It's probably about three quarters of it. So I would recommend removing the buildup and rescoping one to check the work, and two to ensure that the bottom of the pipe is still in good condition. The line is functioning at this time. It's draining a little slower than I'd like it to see, just because of the some of the buildup that's in there. But it is functioning. Uh, if, if nothing is done, I would certainly rescope the line in time or get it cleaned out at some point. Make sure you take a look at that pipe bottom there.